Hello guys and welcome back, in this tutorial, you will learn how to do an easy and realistic interior lightings, for both daylight and night scenes, so without any further ado, let us jump into it. I will work on this simple scene that contains couple of models which we already shared on the channel. The render settings is set to cycles render engine, and we can switch to render view to see what we have. So the scene is dark as you see, to do a daylight shot, we just need to go into the world settings, and in the color input, we can select a sky texture, and here is the result, looks quite good for an afternoon shot, but for us, we need a morning time. So let us add a sunlight, and you don't need to know its place, what you need to do is go to the add-on settings and enable the sun position add-on, this one is built in blender, so you just need to check the box. After that, in the world light settings, you will find a tab for the sun add-on, in it, we can assign both the sun and the sky texture to align their light direction. This looks amazing and we only hit three buttons, what comes next is up to you, you can with the sun position tab change the time, the north offset and latitude until it fits the way you want it to be. Once you're done with those settings, we can go back to the sky texture and control the sun sharpness, which need to be adjusted a bit, and we can do that by increasing the size value to around 3. We also need to bring down the sun intensity a bit, so that it won't burn the floor texture. Those values can control the sky color and dust, not that important to me, but you can experiment with it. And now we can render this scene and get a quite decent shot with only 2 minutes lighting. To make this a night scene, what we need to do first is turn off the sun from the layers. Then go back to the sky settings and set the sun elevation to a negative value. Something around minus 5 should do the trick, and now it's night. So what I usually add first with night scene is the hidden light, and we can do that with a simple area lamp, and the steps are easy. We add it to the scene, place it between the two ceilings, and scale it to fit the wall length. Now in the light settings, we can give it a black body as a color, and control it with temperatures, we did make a short video on black body so check it out if needed, we just need to give it a worm color around 3200 temperature, and now we can copy this light around and direct it toward the wall.
The next thing we need to do is the spotlights. Now in this tutorial we will be working with IES light, so for that, we need a point light to easily control the IES. In the light settings, hit the use node button, we will first add a black body to control the color, after that, in the strength, look for the IES texture and select it, then select external. Now we can import a light settings to identify both the shape and the strength of this light, there are two things we need to adjust for the IES light to really appear correctly, first one the radius, as we said the IES has its unique shape so adding any extra radius will result in something else than what it should, so we need to put it on zero value, and it might turn dark, in that case you just need to move it around a bit. The other thing you need to pay attention to is the power, the IES is already have its strength, so this power value is extra, and with this value, we can't make it on zero so just put it on one or maybe less than that, and here how it looks. Those lights are real life samples provided by the manufacturer, so with them you can get the most realistic look for the space you are working on. Now once you're done with one light, you can make a linked copy of it so that if you change one of them, the rest will take the same settings. To finish this scene we can add a support light on this left area, and also another one from the corridor side, so I will do that and show you how it looks. Here is the final shot, that's it guys, you can now lit any scene you have with those simple steps, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.